Okay, uh, so let's talk about ratings. Dynamite uh, held up fairly well against uh, the NBA playoffs. And uh, what do you think of that number? So, you know what's funny is when I saw that number, it was like I thought this is going to be the one where you figure you find the people who um, don't understand the first thing and the people who do, and it's going to be this divisive thing. I knew as soon as I, – I mean – not even as soon as the number came out, I knew it like a week ahead when I looked at the NBA competition and it's just like, oh man, they're going against, you know, basically game to, you know, a game on NBA TV, which is a lower rated game, but still it's, it's competition. And then the, the big game, which I knew was going to do a giant number, which did, I mean, the, um, the, uh, you know, the, so, so. I figured that they would be down, but I also knew that they put a pretty good show on, so they might like alleviate. And plus that, you know, the secret announcement thing, it works to a degree. Obviously, if you do it every week, it's going to stop working. Um, they do it a lot, but it's whatever, you know. So and it ended up doing a number better than I expected, I think better than they expected as well. So it, it, was, an, it was a it was I thought it was a great number, not even a good number to hold up against that because the WWE shows didn't hold up against it. Um, nor, you know, I mean, NXT, well, but NXT was last week was against NBA, NBA too. Most so, of the decline was in the over 50, right? For, for, for dynamite, uh, for dynamite. It was, it was mostly, um, yeah, I didn't look at the, um, I don't remember the teenage stuff off the top of my head. No, I do. The teenage, the teenage number this week was great. They beat, they beat raw in teenagers, which almost never happens. And there were way more teenagers watching NBA on Wednesday than Monday. So that was a that's like sometimes when you'll have that win, right, where where AEW beats WWE in in a group, you know, you go, well, it was during football season. And that's a absolutely. And I, I say it. I go, look, like the week that that um, or the week that they were on sci fi and they won. And I just said, look, this isn't even a win. You know, it's they're on uh, the wrong. They're not even on their, their right channel. But or against the NFL, it's like, okay, they won, but it is they are going against the NFL. There is that's that's a pretty big thing. But this one, Monday had easier competition and they still beat them with teenagers. They beat them with males 18 to 34. Um, but yeah, the um, so they did very well um, under 35. The they did uh, the 18 to 34 overall number, but males in particular for for um, they didn't beat them with males 18 to 34. I'm wrong. It was, it was 144 to 142 is essentially a tie, um, but they did beat them with teenagers. But um, the um but uh yeah the over 50 number they did get hurt um wwe got hurt across the board um you know on, on a lot over fi- over 50 was was pretty much down and it's just going to be that way smackdown is going to be down this week um you know um everyone's going to be down like like if next week's aw should does does like a 0.34 and people are going to oh they that's they they're losing whatever it's like I, I i you know don't take any number seriously until they're no longer going against NBA playoffs. When the NBA playoffs are over and you you know, then yes, we can start looking at those numbers and go, okay, this is where we're at and this is the deal, you know. Um, but if you like are looking at this and go, oh, it's all excuses, you have no clue. People who use the word excuse when it comes to this stuff are the stupidest human beings on earth. And I just want to say that because it actually is the case. And I've seen some, I've gotten responses from incredibly stupid people. Now, the one thing I would say is I looked at our message board and everyone got it. It was like I was so happy with our message board because sometimes, you know, yeah, there might be a troll here and there and whatever. But it's like everybody knew uh, that this number was, you know, even though it was down 47,000 viewers from the week before, um, that it was a win. And everyone knew it and everyone got it. And people understand that, like, you know, it, it, these numbers are based on competition um, every week. The comp- That's television. You want to know how you're doing with a real number, you look at the house show number because that's not based on competition unless, you know, unless you've, you're going head to head with an NFL game in your market. Sure. But, um, you know, when it comes to even if there's like a big basketball game, the fact is, is that wrestling tickets are sold months in advance. So this tells you essentially where you are, you know, and, and you know, again, you know, they're good in some places and bad in others. But when you, when they're down consistently, uh, when they're consistently up or consistently down, at, at arenas, you're, that's a better determinant of really how your angles are working and things like that than TV ratings. TV ratings, you know, it's like, um, you know, again, and plus the factor of losing homes. Like somebody was like, you know, if you look at 
last year on the same week, there were way, way, way more viewers, but they weren't against the NBA. And also the, the, the viewership in 18, you know, and there were, you know, nine, 10% more homes watching. So until you factor that in, if you're going like, oh, they were 1.1 million and now they're 930,000, they're declining. It's like the opposite is the case and the trend shows it. So, hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.